are very low. Indeed. Hello, I'm Alexander Armstrong, and welcome to Pointless, the quiz that puts obscure knowledge to the test. Let's meet today's players. And couple number one. I, I'm Declan, and this is April, where we're colleagues. I'm from Warren Point in County Down, and April's from Witness in Cheshire. Couple number two. Hi, I'm Sarah, this is my husband, Naveed, and we're from London. Couple number three. Hi, my name's Laura. This is my work colleague and friend Ashley. We both work at a medical centre on the uh, Dorset Somerset border. And finally, couple number four. Hello, I'm Sean and this is Mike and we're a father and son from Birmingham. And these are today's contestants. <clears throat> Thank you all very much indeed. Wonderful to have you with us. A very warm welcome. We'll get to chat to each of you, of course as the show progresses. So that just leaves one more person for me to introduce. So full of information, the internet has put a price on his head. It's my pointless friend, it's Richard. Hiya. Hey, everybody. Afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Good sir. Good afternoon. Uh, what a prize round we had last time with Brian and Dave. Yeah. Very, very impressive. In those 60 seconds, I think they have five answers, all of which had one point and one answer, which was a pointless answer. Yeah. Uh, then endeavoured not to actually say any of them, so they didn't win the money, which is uh, bad news to them, terrific news for everybody here. Um, only one pair returning. Glad to see that uh, Laura and Ashley have a good returns policy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to our three new pairs. Should be fun, shouldn't it? Oh, it should be. On paper, it should be. On paper, it should be. On our new set, it should be. Oh, it's, just, it's just full of new discoveries. Every single thing on the set, that's the interesting thing that I didn't know, every single thing, including your podium, is edible. <laughs> that is true. Mm. Mm. Do you get like, peckish? Mm. Looking forward to it. Um, thank you. This is entirely made of brie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Now, all our questions on Pointless have been put to 100 people before the show, uh, and our players are, of course, looking for those obscure answers that our 100 people didn't get. Find a pointless answer. That's an answer that none of our 100 people got, and we will add £250 to the jackpot. Now, Brian and Dave didn't win the jackpot last time, so we add another £1,000 to that. So today's jackpot starts off at £3,000. There we are. Right, if everyone is ready, let's play Pointless. All you have to remember is this, the pair with the highest score at the end of each round will be eliminated. So just do what you can to make sure that is not you. Very best of luck to all four pairs. Our first category today is shared surnames. Shared surnames. Can you all decide on your pairs? Who's going to go first? Who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. Okay, and the question concerns people who share their surnames with US presidents. Richard. Yeah, just seven clues on each board, 14 in all, to famous people uh, who share a surname with a US president. Usually they would have it at the weekends, and the president would have it during the week. Yeah, that seems a sensible yeah. way to do it. Sensible arrangement. Yeah. Yes, OK, well, we'll see. Um, we are looking for the surnames of these people, and they share them with US presidents. Here is our first board of clues. Aviator, who in 1930 became the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia, AJ. Comedy actress and writer, author of The Tent, The Bucket and Me, EK. Actor, who won Oscars for Glory and Training Day, DW. Lead singer of US rock group Aerosmith, ST. Guitarist in The Beatles, GH. Director of the FBI from 1924 until his death in 1972, JEH. And actress who played Miranda Hobbs in the TV series Sex and the City, CN. I shall read those all again. Aviator, who in 1930 became the first woman to fly solo from England to Australia, AJ. Comedy actress and writer, author of The Tent, The Bucket and Me, EK. Actor who won Oscars for Glory and Training Day, DW. Lead singer of US rock group Aerosmith, ST. Guitarist in The Beatles, GH. Director of the FBI from 1924 until his death in 1972, JEH. And the actress who played Miranda Hobbs in the TV series Sex and the City, CN. April, welcome. A very warm Hello. welcome to Point. It's good to have you here. Uh, what do you do, April? I'm a civil servant. I work for the Cabinet Office. Oh, you work for the Cabinet yeah. Office? 
that's about the most exciting civil service job there is. Yeah, Normally, is. when we get civil servants on here, they say, we cannot tell you what we do. Um, and I would have thought that would be the kind of job where you wouldn't be allowed to tell me what you could do, but you can tell me. Yeah. That's the only one I ever wanted to know about. <laughs> How does it go? What, yeah, what do you have to do? It's really good. So it's like project management and human resources mixed together. Um, one of the biggest things that I do is like recruiting people into the civil service. What, so going around universities? People talk yeah, to people so in universities, their last years. apprenticeships, getting people yeah. in. It is your main office in Downing Street then? Yeah, so I work in Liverpool because I'm from Widnes in Cheshire. But we have an office in London which I'm there like two days a week. Excellent. Very good indeed. Now, what would you like to go for, April? Well, there is two that I definitely know. But I think I'm just going to play it safe, even if it's going to be a high scorer. <laughs> I'm just going to go back a bit. <laughs> two you definitely know, but I'm going to play it safe. Just... I'm going to... No, I sometimes, I sometimes caution people against the curse of the first podium. And the curse of the first podium is they sometimes forget how competitive it is there. Yeah. Mm. That's, I've said enough. I've said my piece. I've said my piece. True, though. Can you? Yeah. Well, being from Witness, it's not far from Liverpool, so I know for definite that guitarist in the Beatles is George Harrison. George Harrison says, April, let's see how many about 100 people said George Harrison. I know it's right. It is right. It is right. <laughs> 82 for George Harrison, April. She was having none of our nonsense at all. I know. Though, was <laughs> we did virtually spell it out. I think my own one would be higher. So. Oh, we'll find out yeah, at, the the, uh, at the end of the pass. Give us some Beatles facts. Um, George Harrison was in them. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure. Mm, Sarah. A very warm welcome to Pointless. Uh, what do you do, Sarah? I'm a paediatrician in a children's centre in South East London. Right, you are. And uh, when you're not doing that, what do you like to get up to? Ooh, travel is the Ooh. big thing. A big thing. So, I mean, have you travelled widely? Our most recent jaunts have included Madagascar, ah. um, Alaska, um, and we're off to Thailand. They rhyme with each other as well. Exactly, which is, <laughs> which is nice. You should always go to pairing cuts. So Madagascar, well, Alaska, Thailand, it'll be Thailand, Thailand Island, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Madagascar, Alaska. I mean, just great for the limericks you can send home. Um, but you know, I'm guessing you like an active holiday. Yes. Well, a bit of both, actually. Of yes. A little bit of a relax on the beach and then some touring around. Very good. Now, Sarah, what are you going to go for here? This is not for? good for me. <laughs> the only answer I definitely knew has gone. Um, so I'm going to make one up because I can't remember anything else. Um, so I'm going to go with the aviator and Alice Johnson. Alice Johnson. OK, uh, let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Alice Johnson. Bad luck. Uh, that is a wrong answer, but it only scores 18 more than George Harrison. So actually, you're in the same ballpark, really. Um, Alice Johnson, I'm afraid, not the right answer. Yeah, but April looking more and more like a tactical genius as the round yeah. goes on. <laughs> Interesting. There we are. Laura, welcome back. Thank you. Now, we discovered that you, uh, last time, are a receptionist. Yes. At a medical centre right on the border of where? Between uh, Dorset and Somerset. And w which side of the border are you from? Actually, Dorset. So it's Sherbourne, the um, Abbey Town right. of Sherbourne. So Sherbourne is absolutely on that border, is it? Almost. It's are about you, five miles, isn't it? Are you, are, you, are you Somerset or are you Dorset? He's Somerset, I'm Dorset. <laughs> it sounded like Ashley's very proud of his Somerset. He is. Does he, he is. bring that to work, that Somerset yes, pride? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's very bit. proud of his um, an ancestry. <laughs> very nice indeed. Now, uh, what are you going to go for on this board? I yeah. would like to go for the bottom one. Um, actress who played Miranda Hobbs in The Sex and the City, and I think it's Cynthia Nixon. Cynthia Nixon says, Laura, let's see how many of our 100 people said Cynthia Nixon. Well, 100 is the high score. 82 is the low score. We now have a new low score. Look how low it goes. Down. Wow, 14. 14 for Cynthia Nixon. I think you will see round two this time. Very well played, Laura. Very well done. Indeed, it shares a name with... Richard Nixon, mm -hmm. who was a president. Yes. See how this works. I do. I'm, I'm getting the hang of it. Yeah. I guess. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. Uh, now, Mike, a warm welcome to Pointless. Good to have you here. A father and son team. Always good to have a father and son team here. Mike, what do you do? Um, I'm a facilities buyer from the Midlands. Um, so basically, because you're going to ask what that entails. I, I, I imagine <laughs> facilities. I I think I get buyer. buyer. 
Yeah, yeah, I can get Somebody that. Somebody buy stuff. Do you buy facilities or do you go around facilities and buy for them? Uh, the latter. So do you go around and say, who, who, I'm going to go to the shop? You are, Does anyone want any facilities? Yeah, everyone wants any. <laughs> and then you basically write it down, go off. Yeah, tart and paint and all that stuff. Yeah, what sort of things are you buying? Um, so we predominantly do hard and soft services. Um, so that's anything from lifts and electrical works to toiletries and everything in between. Wow. Hard and soft services. Hard and soft. I've not heard of that before. No. I tell you, if you've ever been on The One Show, you know that, uh, that sofa, that's hard and soft. Looks soft, and then you sit down and go. Ah, ah. Yeah, they don't want you to stay, do they? They do not. Yeah. Uh, Mike, this is your board. You can do anything you like with it. I mean, there's not many that I, I really know. I think the lead singer of the US rock group Aerosmith is Steven Tyler, but the one I'm going to go for um, is the actor who will ask us for glory in Training Day, and I think that's Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, favourite actor of one Richard Osman. Uh, let's see if that's right. Let's see how many about 100 people said Denzel Washington. <laughs> 31. Not bad at all. 31 for Denzel Washington. Not bad at all. Shall we fill this board in? Sarah wasn't a million miles away. You got the right surname. Amy. Amy Johnson uh, was the top answer there. She would have scored you 37. E.K. Emma Kennedy. Emma Kennedy. She has a surname with President Kennedy. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I see. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Five points. Um, you're quite right about Steven Tyler. Would have scored you more points, though, actually. Would have scored you 46 points. And the director of the FBI? J. Edgar. J. Edgar Hoover. And he would have scored 32. So the best answer on the board there, Emma Kennedy. Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Well, we're halfway through the round. Let's take a quick look at those scores. 14, Laura. Let's just enjoy that for a moment or two, <laughs> shall we? That was a great score. Thank you. Now, 31 is where we find Mike and Sean, and then up to 82 is quite a hike up there, where we find April and Declan. And then Sarah and Navid on 100. But Navid, I can tell. I can just tell that you have got this. <laughs> I think you've got this sewn up. I think it'll be fine. Very best of luck to all four players. We're going to come back down the line now. Can the second players please step up to the podium? <laughs> OK, let's put seven more people who share their surnames with US presidents up on the board, and here they are. Won the Best Actress Academy Award in 1961 and 1967, E.T., singer who released the albums Hounds of Love and The Kick Inside, K.B., actor who first played Spider-Man on screen in 2012, A.G., UK Prime Minister from 1964 to 1970 and 1974 to 1976, H.W., soul musician who wrote the theme from Shaft, I.H., in 2000, became the first French woman to win the French Open since 1967, MP, and the singer who performed the theme song for the James Bond film, Octopussy, R.C. I'll read those again. Won the Best Actress Academy Award in 1961 and 1967, E.T., singer who released the albums Hounds of Love and The Kick Inside, K.B., actor who first played Spider-Man on screen in 2012, A.G., UK Prime Minister from 1964 to 1970 and 1974 to 1976, H.W., sole musician who wrote the theme from Shaft, I.H., in 2000 became the first French woman to win the French Open since 1967, M.P., and the singer who performed the theme song for the James Bond film Octopussy, R.C., there we are. Sean, welcome. Great to have you here. Sean, what do you do? So I'm an engineer. Um, I work currently as a business improvement professional for uh, a very well-known um, British aerospace company. I mean, if you're going to be an engineer, working for a well-known aerospace company, has got to be, that's got to be fun. It's tremendous fun. Yeah, I bet. And when you're not doing that, what do you do? What are your interests? So my main hobby is writing. I like creative writing. So uh, five years ago, I wrote my first novel. Um, Very good. And I'm currently writing a series of children's books, which have been illustrated by a very good friend of mine. And, uh, yeah, hopefully that will take us somewhere as well. Very good. Well, very best of luck with that. And very best of luck with this, Sean. What are you going to go for? OK, so um, not a great board for me, in fairness, but I'm going to go for the second one down, which is the singer who released the albums Hounds of Love and The Kick Inside as Kate Bush. Kate Bush says, Sean, let's see how many of our 100 people said that. Here is your red line. Get below that with Kate Bush. You are into round two. That's right. You've done it. Oh, by some distance, 38 is what you scored. 69 is your total. Three you go. Yes, she has her surname with two American presidents, George Bush and George Bush. 
Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Ashley, welcome back. Hello. Welcome back. Remind us what you do, Ashley. I work in the doctor's surgery too <laughs> with Laura. And uh, when you're not doing that, what do you like to get up to? Um, I like travelling too, like Sarah, yeah, with my um, fiancé. And we've um, been on lots of trips around Europe. Where have you got planned next? Where's the next one going to be? Um, my um, fiancé is from the Czech Republic. So we've sort of done all the countries around the Czech Republic. So we'll, um, we'll have to think of somewhere new to go to. Very exciting. Well, listen, you are on 14, thanks to Laura's fantastic low score. You can get by on 85 or less is enough to, to get you through to the next round. Uh, what would you like to go for? I know a few of them. I think I'm going to go for the bottom one, the James Bond and Octopussy um, theme song, and that's Rita Coolidge. Rita Coolidge, says Ashley. Here is your red line, nice and high. Get below that with Rita Coolidge, and you are through. How many of our 100 people said it? It's right. And you're in round two. That is a great offer. Very well done indeed. Nine, the best score of the round so far. 23 is your total. Well played, Ashley. Yes, sang all-time high. And thank you for saying that as well, because I was been driven mad because I kept thinking it was Randy Crawford. And I was thinking, but it isn't a president called Randy Crawford. I was honestly, I was going quietly insane. There we go. Thank you. And now then, Navid. <laughs> and this is where it gets very exciting. Anyway, firstly, welcome to Pointless. Great to Thank have you. you here. What do you do, Navid? I'm a management consultant at a large professional services firm. I see. And what are your what are your hobbies? I'm well, travel. As I travel, am. certainly. Yeah. Getting. So someone has to go with there, right? <laughs> well, someone, someone <laughs> does, indeed. Um, uh, what else do you like getting up to? Um, I like taking pictures. I've got uh, a bunch of photography kit. Uh, don't know how to use some of it. In fact, quite a lot of it. How long is the longest lens you own? Oh, if you extend it fully, it's about that big, about a foot long. <laughs> right. And do, you, I mean, do you take to do wildlife photographs? Yes. I'm, uh, often Sarah will go on ahead on a hiking trail and I'll be there for 10, 20 minutes setting up and getting a macro. <laughs> 10, 20 minutes. Gosh, that's very serious. 10, 20 minutes. Um, very good indeed. Now, Navid, you have a task here. It has to be a low score. Anything leaping out at you from that board? Uh, yes, uh, three end. that I know. Two probably fairly high, and one, the one I'll go with, is the French Open winner, and that's Mary Pierce. Mary Pierce, says Navid. No red line for you as you are currently the high scorers, but let's hope Mary Pierce gets you way down the column. Let's see. That's made it very interesting on podium one, hasn't it? Um, very well played. Um, yeah, Franklin Pierce and Mary Pierce both spelt the same as well. Thank you very much, Richard. Now then, Declan, welcome. Welcome here from County Down. That's right. Um, and what do you do, Declan? I'm also a civil servant, but I'm obviously not in an exciting department, so I work for HM Revenue and Customs. Uh, oh, that's exciting! <laughs> that's very I exciting. Got, I got a lot of time. Yeah. HM Revenue. Have you not, I think, oh. really overworked, I would say, underpaid, in my Absolutely. opinion, yes. and, and just a handsome and beautiful bunch of yes. men and women, yes. all good people, I, I, yeah. I won't hear a word against them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Now then, Declan. If you could score 29 or less, Declan, 29 or less, keeps you in the game. Talk us through that board. I think I knew three. Kip Bush and Mary Pierce were two, they've gone. Uh, so the only other one I have I don't think is going to be good enough to get us through, and that's the UK Prime Minister, I think it's Harold Wilson. Harold Wilson. There is your red line, you have to get below that with Harold Wilson. How many of our 100 people said Harold Wilson? <laughs> 75 for Harold Wilson. 157 is your total. Yes, the top one, E.T., the Elizabeth Taylor. Taylor. Elizabeth, Elizabeth Taylor, yeah. She would have scored you 31 points. The best answer that was left on the board is the Spider-Man actor, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. He would have scored you 11 points. And who wrote the theme from Shark? Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes, yeah. And he would have scored 34. So, actually, Rita Coolidge, best answer on the board. Well played. There we are. Thank you very much indeed. So at the end of our first round, there is a pair we have to say goodbye to. And Declan and April, I'm sorry it is you, but you will be back next time when I have absolutely no doubt you'll soar right through to the last round. Anyway, thank you very much for playing Declan and April. <laughs> <laughs>
Suddenly we're down to three pairs. Very exciting indeed. Welcome to round two. Our category for round two today is football. Can you all decide on your pairs? Who's going to go first? Who's going to go second? And whoever's going first, please step up to the podium. OK, let's find out what the question is. Here it comes. We gave 100 people 100 seconds to name as many teams that have played in the Premier League during its first 25 years as they could. Teams in the Premier League, Richard. Yeah, in August 2017, the Premier League uh, celebrated its 25th birthday. We're simply looking for any team who appeared in the Premier League in that first 25 years, please. Thank you very much indeed. So, Sarah, we come yeah. to you first. The balls are a great question for me, not. <laughs> um... I am going to go with Sheffield United. Sheffield United, says Sarah. Let's see how many of our 100 people went for Sheffield United. It's right. That's very nicely done. That's an example of being on a first podium and not panicking. Sheffield United scored the very first goal in Premier League history. Brian Dean scored it. That's nice. Yeah. Now, um, Ashley, we come to you. We just want the name of any football club that's played in the Premier League. Who are you going to go for? I'll go for Derby County. Derby County, says Ashley. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Derby County. It's right. Well, three is the only score on the board at this point. Derby County... Heading down. Oh, we're down to seven. Seven for Derby County. In the 2007-2008 season, they got relegated with the fewest points in the history of the Premier League, 11 points. Which, if they were on this show, would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, sadly, it doesn't work that way. Are they ever going to be back? How are they yeah, they'll be, be back one day. They'll be, they'll be yeah, back. They'll good. be back. Yeah, yeah good, good. Uh, now, uh, Mike, Mike, who would you like to go for? I'm going to go with Bradford City. Bradford City. Bradford City, says Mike. OK, let's see if that's right. Let's see how many of our 100 people said Bradford City. It is right. We have a high score of seven and a low score of three. Where is Bradford City going to end up for Mike? It's a Well played against some lovely low scoring. Spent two seasons in the Premier League Bradford City. Thank you very much. Well, we are halfway through the round, so let's take a look at those scores. One, the best score of the past. Very well done indeed, Mike. Very good indeed. Then up to three, where we find Sarah and Navid. Then up to seven, where we find Ashley and Laura. So, I mean, Laura, there you are. You have a high score at this point, but there's really nothing in it. So you just have to hope that you can find a really obscure answer. Good luck with that. We're going to come back down the line now. Can the second players please step up to the podium? <laughs> So then, Sean, any football club that's played in the Premier League, if you can score five or less, you are through to the head-to-head. -head. OK. Um, I'm going to play Norwich City. Norwich City, says Sean. Norwich City. Here is your red line. Nice and low. Sorry, I shouldn't say nice and low. Low is not a good thing. You've got to chase a long way down the, the, the column there. Uh, Norwich City. Let's see if you can get below that red line with Norwich City. It's right. Fourteen for Norwich City. Taking so a up to fifteen. This is going to be a tense one, isn't it? I think. Um, yeah, they came third in the first ever season in the Premier League, Norwich. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, now then, Laura, you have to score seven or less. Football isn't my strongest category. That's good to hear because <laughs> last time someone said that, they scored very low. <laughs> Uh, Leicester City. Leicester City. Uh, Leicester City. Here is your red line. You have to get below that, Laura. And you're in the head-to-head. -head. How many people said Leicester City? It's right. Thirteen. That takes your total up to twenty. 
mean, it's interesting. That score is mind-blowingly low. I think we talked after Leicester won the Premier League and suddenly they were quite high up in some of these. We said, yes. I wonder how long that will last yes. until they've forgotten. And now they're back down to back down. 13 again. Yeah. Less than Norwich. Yeah. <laughs> I know. OK, now, uh, Navid, you have to score 16 or less. Right. Now, that smile suggests to me that you're pained inside. I'm thinking I should go for some of the yo-yo clubs, like the ones that have gone back and forth between divisions. And so I'm going to go for Reading. Reading? Yeah. Reading, says Navid. Another great answer, I say. There is your red line. Get below that with Reading and you're through to the head-to-head. -head. How many of our 100 people said Reading? It's right. nicely done Navid well played yeah I was thinking maybe because Sarah had said Sheffield United you say Sheffield Wednesday and I could uh, let everyone know they scored three as well a three all draw between the nice. two Sheffield teams uh, there's only one pointless answer out of every answer there's lots of answers here I'll take you through some of the lower scorers four points for Ipswich Town Wigan Athletic Middlesbrough and Watford three for both the Sheffield clubs Wimbledon uh, two with Reading we've already heard but also Charlton Athletic Coventry City and Blackpool one point for Bradford City and Barnsley and the pointless answer was Oldham Athletic. Very, very well done. If you said that, I know you're all wondering, Fulham scored seven. <laughs> should we take a look at the top three? I think we should. Here are the ones that most people said. You would have scored 50 points if you'd said Man City. You'd have scored 54 for Arsenal. And of course, as always, Manchester United up the top there, 59. Still always at the top of our table, isn't it? Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Let's see who came kind of fourth, fifth and sixth and what have you. Chelsea 48, Liverpool 45, that was a good game. <laughs> Spurs 37, Everton 33, Newcastle United 26, West Ham 25, and an 18-all oh, draw between Leeds United and West Brom. That's the end of the classified results. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Richard. Uh, so at the end of our second round, the pair, we have to send home with our high score of 20. Our low scorers from round one, our high scorers, talk about a yo-yo, Nabi. <laughs> um, I'm afraid, Laura and Ashley, this is the end of the line, so we have to say goodbye. It's been wonderful having you on the show. Thank you so much for Thank playing. You. Laura and Ashley. <laughs>